The Lakers were in a nail biter with the Indiana Pacers tonight. It's not something that should happen. Of course, Tyrese Halliburton, you know, misses 10 games, comes back. Who would have thought? Not me. Um, that's just what happens. Players just always decide to play after they've been injured for a long time to play the Lakers. That's just how it goes. That's how it's always been. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about Darvin Ham, Russell Westbrook, and our shooting. This this team, this team needs a trade. This team needs a trade. This team needs a trade to save Darvin Ham from himself. Russell Westbrook and Patrick Beverly cannot be on this team anymore. Because Darvin Ham can't help himself. He has to play three small guard lineups when we just acquired Rui Hachimura, who's 6'8 with a 7'2 wingspan. And he can't help himself. He can't do it. He can't help himself. Russell Westbrook was horrible tonight. He closed the game. He played the majority of the fourth quarter, and he was absolutely awful. He was terrible on defense, terrible on offense. Every missed three he takes turns into a transition basket for the opposing team. It just it's it ha it's like clockwork. It happens every time. We have Wendy and Gabriel getting DMPs now. Max Christie hasn't played the past two games. Who's our best three point shooter, by the way? Max Christie. Our 19-year-old rookie with some of the best defensive fundamentals I've ever seen from a 19-year-old kid. Not saying he's a defensive stopper. Not saying he's Kawhi Leonard. I'm just saying in terms of fundamentals, his hands are always up. He always reads the play the right way. I mean, yes, he makes mistakes here and there. But that kid is not playing. Our best three-point shooter or one of our best three-point shooters. You know, I'm, I'm, I think he's our best. And then there's Austin Reeves, who's been out. Lonnie Walker's been out. We've had some injuries, you know, but this team should be well above 500 and we're below it. We're three games below 500. We're 25 and 28, I believe. And we've had some unlucky officiating to end games, you know, some fishy calls that should have gone in our favor and didn't. And I'm not blaming those games completely on the officiating, but it was horrible. You know, that's a consens consensus around NBA Twitter and NBA media that those were horrible calls at some of these games, especially that Celtics game. That was ridiculous. The ref was standing literally two feet away and staring straight at the play and didn't call a foul. But that's, it is what it is. But this team needs help. We are an, not an intelligent basketball team. This team does not make smart basketball decisions for the most part. And Russell Westbrook has a lot to do with that. Patrick Beverly makes mistakes, but at least he plays hard. Like that, I, I I I don't mind. I don't I don't mind that Beverly is on the team. What I mind is the way Darvin Ham utilizes him. So that's why he needs to be traded. I would love to keep Patrick Beverly, but we can't have him because Darvin Ham can't help himself with these three guard lineups. It's it's absolutely just insane to me. We have Anthony Davis and LeBron James on this team, and we're under 500. Yes, AD missed 20 games, but we've been in games close with the best teams in the league without AD. With AD, we should be winning these games. But you put AD and LeBron in these non-spacing lineups, and, and teams are just packing the paint on us, and that's just how it goes. You know, we, we, we cannot get into rhythms in some of these games and it's just nasty work we watch the pacers hit open three after open three our defense was atrocious it's gonna be atrocious we have two small little baby guards in the backcourt i can't keep reiterating this like it is is it's ridiculous and then it turns into three guards against the reserves 
And that's just how Darvin Ham coaches the game. I'm sorry this has turned into a Darvin Ham hate video, but I've actually been quite disgusted with the way he's coached. We're very far into the season for him not to understand some fundamentals of the game. And analytics. Like, I'm not like a huge analytics guy, but like there's analytics that he should be looking at to see what the plus minuses are of certain players and certain lineups. And I don't think he does that. Like, I think he's just a nitty gritty type of guy. Granted, he does get this team to play hard. I'm not, they play very, very hard. They play hard every single night. They try every single night, which is not something that happened last season, which is something I'm happy about. That's why we get close in games. Like we we get leads and then we lose our leads and then we might get into a big hole, but we play hard. And most of the time, if we either lose or we're close, it's like within a point or two. And that's what's been happening a lot this season. But I think in terms of what this team needs, this team needs to start the best starting lineup it possibly can. And this might be a controversial take. I don't know. People might agree with me. People might not. I don't really care. But at this point, I think Dennis, Schroeder, Max Christie, Rui Hachimura, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis should be the starting lineup of this team. Russell Westbrook needs to play way less minutes. If he doesn't get traded, he needs to play way less minutes because we have better guards than him that are just sitting on the bench right now. Austin Reeves has had a hamstring injury. I want Austin Reeves to literally take all of Russell Westbrook's minutes if that could happen. I doubt that happens because Darvin Ham is the biggest Russell Westbrook stand on the planet. Again, you know, he's obsessed with him. Uh, I thought um, at the beginning of the season, it was kind of fluff, like him talking up Westbrook, like he's one of the greatest players to ever play the game, which is true. You know, he is, he was one of the best players to ever play the game. He's a top 75 talent. There were moments in his career where he was incredible. And I'm not even talking about like the triple double moments of his career. I'm talking about like early OKC days. Like early OKC days where like his mid-range jumper was automatic. He was ridiculous around the basket. His athleticism was absurd. It's still really, really good now. But when he was a young player, it was absurd. But that's not the Russell Westbrook we have now. And we need him gone. And another thing, we have a lot of money on the books right now that need to be traded for long-term contracts. Because if they're not traded, it is bad asset management. If Russell Westbrook is not traded, that is bad asset management. Because it's either we trade him or we keep him even next season and extend him because we have his bird rights. We need the cap space. We need to trade Westbrook for more players and try to get younger players. I don't care if we throw in the first round picks. Get me the guys in Toronto. I don't care at this point. Put some young guys around LeBron that are smart basketball players that can shoot. And that's all we need. There's been a recipe for success in the NBA for years now. Shooting and defense. People say that LeBron's needed shooters his whole career. Every team needs shooters. Every single team needs shooters. It's not just a LeBron thing. It's an every team thing. That's why the Warriors were the Warriors. You know, they had this shooting. It makes it difficult to guard. If you have shooters, it makes your big men harder to guard if you have shooters. And that's why LeBron has been so successful. You put shooters around LeBron and Anthony Davis, and it is a recipe for success. But this team, this team has no margin for error as of right now. Zero. And that Indiana Pacers game was disgusting. I'm happy we won because we need the W's, but it was a disgusting game. And then going to overtime against the Knicks, that was disgusting. Like, that shouldn't have happened. 
But that's all I really have to say about what's going on with the Lakers. It's been a while since I've done a Laker video. I know that I'm more of a gaming page, but I do talk about the Lakers on this page. So if you've made it this far into the video, you know, I have affiliate links down below. If you like what you see, click on them. That's it.